Hey guys, Chelsea here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to make clouds and fog and mist. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to make this picture look like this. So the first thing that you'll need to do is get an appropriate brush. I'm including one down below so you can load it and have the exact same brush as me. It's going to create misty kind of clouds like the one seen in my example picture. But if you have to make your own, you can start with a brush that already looks kind of cloud-like. So let's see, I'll give you a really quick tutorial just in case you'd like to make your own. Um, 45 looks pretty cloud-like. And then you want to open up your brush window over here. And you'll go to Shape Dynamics and put up the size jitter. You want to scatter it a bit so that it's more random. Let's see. Move, you can move your count slider up a little bit. Let's look at the jitter here. You can move your jitter up. And then for your color dynamics, you want to do the foreground background jitter just to kind of blend the background and foreground uh, color so that the colors blend nicely. So I'll put that up about halfway. Same with hue. And the opacity too, you don't want it to be completely solid. So I'm going to put that up to about 100%. And that's pretty much how you make a brush for clouds. Um, we can sample this brush here and you'll see, get an idea of what it looks like. But I happen to already have a brush that I like that I made earlier. So I'm going to go in and that's brush 400. So now I'm going to make two new layers and I'll do that by pressing this little layer icon here two times. So you have layer one and layer two. I'm going to name layer one background clouds. And layer two F clouds, which sounds mean, but that's for foreground clouds. And I'm going to do the background clouds first because if you do the clouds all in one shot, they can look like they're sitting on top of your picture rather than being kind of woven into your picture like real clouds. So what I'll do first is I'll take my background clouds and I'm going to make them go behind the mountains. So let's get to brushing. I have my opacity set to 50%. I have my flow down as well. And I have the color on white. And the fog would naturally kind of settle into the valleys a bit. So I'm going to put it low here and then let it fade out towards the top. And the same here, I'm going to follow this peak line and just show the clouds kind of just falling into the valleys. And you can even add some up there if you want, but you'd want to make your brush smaller. Okay. And now I'm going to create a mask and delete the clouds. So I'll use just a regular brush. Put my hardness up a little bit. I want my opacity back up. And I'm going to erase on the mountain here because I want it to look like it's going behind the mountain. And it will, I will have some clouds in front in the foreground too, but I want those to be a separate layer because, well, you'll see, it's going to add more depth. That was sloppy. You can zoom in to see what you're doing better.
And then I'm going to go back to my brush, my cloud brush, and put the opacity down. And I'm going to just remove some of these clouds. It looks a bit muddy to me. Just add some texture back in. Okay, and now I'll go to the foreground clouds layer and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add clouds in the foreground this time. So these clouds will kind of wrap around the mountain a bit. So we'll have some here. Oop, that's too big. And they would be found more in the shade because it's cooler. Um, so there would be less on the sunny face of the mountain than there would be in the shadows. That's just how nature works. And then we'll put some down here in the valley and not, you can see that there's this line here of foreground, well you see the ruins from Machu Picchu and then you see some foreground greens. I'm not going to put it there because those are a little bit sunnier and I don't think that those would have this misty fog there. And I'm going to turn up my opacity too, this is pretty slow going. And I'm going to make some just creeping up this mountainside here. And again, I'll add a mask because if there's any spot that I don't like, I'll go in and thin it out or get rid of it by selecting your mask layer here and it's all white, so you know that you'll need the black color selected to delete. And that's it, that's pretty simple. Once you have the brush worked out and it looks natural, it's easy to go in and add clouds or mist. If you wanted a mist, you would use a more even brush. This is kind of has a dappled look and it has a thin thickness. You still want some of that, but you want it to be smooth. Um, I can recommend looking up a picture that has the effect that you want and then trying to copy that just so that you have an idea of what's realistic. So there you go, that's pretty easy. If you'd like to download my brush, you can go into the description down below and get it there for free. And if you'd like to see more videos like these, click subscribe, of course, and you should probably like the video. That seems like the respectable thing to do. Thanks.